Well, today I'll be taking you all through an interesting experiment. But before that, let me ask you a question. Do you all like refreshments? Yes, you all do, right? What do you all like to drink? Juice, milkshake, tea or coffee? For me, I love to drink tea. Let me ask you all another question. Have you ever seen your parents preparing tea at home? What do they use while preparing tea? Do they use sugar? Where did the sugar disappear? So today, we are going to investigate various powders in water. Before that, let us examine these powders. As you all can see, I have four different kinds of powders that are easily available in our kitchen. We have salt, milk powder, sugar, and coffee. So, the first three powders all looks white. Is there any difference in these powders? You all can see, touch, feel, and figure out the differences in these powders. The salt is shiny white. As you see, the milk powder is white and the sugar is creamy white. And what about the coffee? Yes, it's dark brown in color. What will happen if we dissolve these powders in water? Will it dissolve in water? What will happen to these powders? What does dissolve actually mean? So let us investigate and experiment by putting these powders in water. Let us begin by taking salt first. So, I'll take a spoon and I'll take a tea teaspoonful of salt and put in this glass which is filled with two thirds of water. So I'm putting the spoonful of salt in the water. What do you all notice? Do you still see the salt at the bottom of the glass? Yes, we do, right? Let us tear it for a moment and see what happens. Keep observing this. What happened to the salt now? Do you still see the salt at the bottom of the glass? Do you see any changes in the glass? So the salt completely dissolved in the water. Let us take the next powder, that is milk powder. I'll again take a glass filled with two thirds of water, scoop a spoonful of milk powder and I'm putting it in the glass. What happened to the milk powder? It is still there on the top of the water. Let us take the spoon, stir it, stir it for a while and see what happens. So, do you see any changes here? What changes do you see in the glass? We can clearly see here that the color of the water itself changed in this case. Now, let us take the third powder, that is sugar. Scoop a spoonful of sugar and put it in the third glass, which contains two thirds of water. You all can clearly see here that the sugar is still there at the bottom of the glass. Let us stir it for a moment. 
properly and see what happens. Do you all see any changes in the glass? What happened to the sugar? Where did it disappear? We know that sugar got completely dissolved in the water. But how will we know that the sugar is still there in this glass of water? We can easily figure out the presence of sugar in this glass. If we take a sip of water from this glass, the water will taste sweet, right? That indicates that sugar is still there in the glass of water. What about coffee? What do you think will happen to this coffee if I put it in the glass of water? Let us have a look. So I'll take a spoonful of coffee and put it in the last jar which contains water. What do you observe? Do you all see that the color of water is changing in the glass? Let us still stir it for a moment and see. Do you all see that? The color of the water itself changed. Now, by looking at these glasses, why can't we say that these powders disappeared in water instead of dissolving in water? Let me tell you, if it disappears, then the color, the taste and the smell should also disappear in it, right? Alright, so I've got a question for you all now. Will the results change if I experiment with the same amount of hot water? Till then, keep experimenting and keep trying. Thank you.